Good morning, believers. Good morning, Israel. J.D. Nijah, Word of Truth. Jeff DeLoach, Bible Teaching. With Jeff DeLoach. J.D. Nijah. <clears throat> All praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, the Only Begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit. I come to you today from beautiful Bolshevika State Beach, Tower 23. World famous Huntington Beach, California, Surf City. Heavenly Father, bless this message. Bless my brothers and sisters, your children that hear it. Give us understanding. Give us a deeper wisdom about your will. Let us understand the grace bestowed upon us by the blood of of your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, who came in your name and walked among men and showed us the path back to you so we could be re reconciled back to the family, back to the kingdom, through the Holy Spirit that is your Spirit, that comforts us, guides us, speaks to us, We honor you, we praise you, we thank you, thank you, thank you, we thank you again and again, and then we thank you more for everything you're doing, everything you've done, and everything you're about to do. Let us be your servants, because you are worthy of all of our worship and all our praise. You are our glory. Amen. <clears throat> so being we're talking about the first fruits first fruits first fruits da 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 first fruits are we clear on who the first fruits are Remember, put this in your Rolodex, put it in your notepad, understand, the first fruits are Israel, we were chosen, we were picked specially for a, for a purpose, um, to be eaten, we we're to give forth uh, life-giving nutrition onto life and you and I can look around and say who is Israel who is Israel who is Israel who are these first fruits where are they good question good question because a lot of what we're eating out here is um, rotten, crappy. Um, so being I was on Psalm 72 in the last video. Um, We were talking about what what's really going to happen. What's the Bible say is going to happen? Israel's going to rise up in these last days, and we're seeing that. Here I am. We're going to be um, priests, pastors, teachers, prophets. We're going to be signposts. And the signpost is actually the uh, the destination itself. 
if you can understand that. If you see the signpost, you see the destination. So when Jesus told Philip or whoever he says it to, he said it to Philip, I know that. He said, Philip, how long have you been with me? And you, you asked me, show you the Father? I tell you, Philip, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. So when I say... In these last days, Israel is going to be teachers, priests, prophets, um, signposts. Not, our, not only are we the signposts, we are the destination. And that's, what, that's where we're having a big confusion out here with these YouTube Bible teachers and Everybody's a basket weaving 101, just trying to get through their first year of college <laughs> as easily as possible, but without doing any true study. They're not masters. They're not going for their professorship. They're just a bunch of wasting time, misguided Beasts, heathens, pagans. They wouldn't know Israel if it fell on their foot. So, why are we seeing people running to and fro lost? The Lord said, in the last days, though, people will be saying, oh, he's over here. Or, lo, he's over there. Don't believe it. That's what's happening out here. There's signposts. <laughs> There's signposts everywhere, and those signposts are actually the destination also. So if you're following these signposts, why, why the Lord told you? If you see him going, he's over here, over there, um, don't go because, hello, that signpost is leading you. <laughs> away, away, a way, it's leading you a way that's destructive. It's leading you a way from peace, a way of the world, a way, uh, it has no peace value you're going to go away of darkness and nothingness anyway understand the signposts you gotta you gotta you gotta learn how to read the signposts um so we're talking about the first fruits and the first fruits are going to be the signposts this is the fruit that you want to eat that it's not going to be easy to find. It's not, there's not someone on every corner offering you this fruit. If there's someone offering you fruit, hey, look what I got. I got some fruit for you. Um, you're probably going to want it because it's free. And... You'll make a friend. All right. Maybe I'll come back next week and I'll get some more. And you'll be entwined with disease, destruction, rottenness. And so when I talk about these other so-called Bible teachers, pastors, Ministers, bishops, whatever they call themselves. If you're looking for fruit, you need to inspect that fruit.
because the only way you're going to know, I can't teach you everything. All I can teach you is what to look out for. Um, you need to get into the book. So I'm, I'm trying to impart to you brothers and sisters that there's overarching themes that you have to be aware of. And that way you can defend yourself against, oh, the first fruits, Tony Baloney, Street Ministers for Christ, this fucking wicked nigga, man. He is way off base. Uh, the first fruits, those are the first Christians after Pentecost. No. <laughs> Come on. Come on, sir. So anyway, let's let's read about the righteous king. So the righteous king is Solomon. And if you don't understand regeneration, I just heard stupid even the best Bible teachers, this is this is some of the new information that has come out in the last probably 40 years. Probably huh, 1970 when the Jesus movement, that Jesus revolution, when I got drawn into the Lord, um, some people were waking up to the fact that they'd been here before. Um, mostly Israel. It's not given to everyone. So if you don't believe it, just believe it. I don't know if everyone gets regenerated but um, that might be the difference between an Israelite and a Gentile I don't know I would say everyone has to be regenerated because it wouldn't be fair to put people in this situation that we're in with only one life it's appointed once for a man to die and then the judgment. That's what Chuck Missler was. That's why we know there's not reincarnation. The Bible says it clearly. It's appointed once for a man to die and then the judgment. No, Chuck. You got to understand. Judgment takes place here. A man dies, but the spirit goes on. So these are the, these are the deeper meanings that... Um, how do you how do you bring this stuff to people? How do you? I try, I try. Um, and then everyone's over here listening to people that don't know anything, that are even actually saying things that are wrong, creating confusion. So this is another example of regeneration. Solomon is Jesus. King David became Peter. That's why he followed Christ. He's a representation of the Heavenly Father, the bloody man, the one that fucking just draws a sword in a second, even against his own people. And so that, let's just go into this. Um, Psalm 72. The Righteous King, a psalm for Solomon, um, 72, 1, 72, 1, it is the title of Solomon, okay, for Solomon. Give the king thy judgments, O God, in thy righteousness unto the king's son. So, right there, we're seeing that the king and the son are one and the same. Give the king thy judgments, O God, in thy righteousness unto the king's son. That is King David's son, Solomon. He shall judge thy people with righteousness and thy poor with judgment. Judgment, judgment, judgment. Where does judgment take place, people? Brothers and sisters, judgment takes place on the earth. 
That's why we're here. We come as a man. We cause all kinds of havoc. We seek the Lord. We do what we do. We die. The man dies. And then he gets the judgment. He goes up to the Heavenly Father and comes back down here to think about it some more. Right? This, <laughs> this is school, people. This is the classroom. Warning, warning, this is the classroom. Get your pens and paper ready, open your books, and pay attention. The mountain shall bring peace to the people and the little hills by righteousness. He shall judge the poor of the people. He shall save the children of the needy and shall break in pieces the oppressor. <clears throat> Who's the oppressor? Family, brothers and sisters. That is the system. That is this Satan, satanic realm. He has, Satan has the authority. He has the responsibility. He has the ability to respond to you as a man in this place of judgment. So the oppressor is the one that's leading you away from the truth. Got it? Um, they shall fear thee as long as the sun and moon endure throughout all generations. What is it saying? It's scary being here. It's creepy. This is the place of judgment. Hello. Let me read it again. They shall fear thee as long as the sun and moon endure throughout all regenerations. Do I, am I gonna beg you to believe this? Am I going to? Oh, you gotta believe this, people. You gotta, you gotta get with it. Tell everyone, you've been here before. This is the place of judgment. Nah, nah, nah. Nope, you don't need to, you don't need to go around doing what I do because this isn't an easy assignment. Telling the truth is a, heh, <laughs> heh. But it's the truth. So either eat it, eat the good fruit, take the bitterness in your stomach and go, that, this, this, truth sucks. The truth is, sucks. Yeah, it's hard to deal with when you actually start realizing that you should be scared as all get out. He shall come down like rain upon the mown grass as showers that water the earth. Coming down, back and forth, up and down. The water goes up in the cloud, then it rains down, and then it goes up, and then it goes down. That's saying you are just like mown, mowed grass. You spring up, and then you're cut down again. And then you spring up, and then you're cut down again. Do you understand? Man, people don't have any ability to conceptualize literature and what God is saying. That's the problem here. We have a bunch of people that are so dumbed down that they can't read for meaning. It's, it's, oh. In his days shall the righteous flourish in the abundance of peace so long as the moon endures. What is that saying, folks? That's saying as long as this prison planet, plane, the snow globe, this lockdown, high security chains of darkness, as long as this place is here, it's going to continue happening. Do I want to come back again? No, I don't. I don't care if I come back. Yeah, I want to live again. Yeah, okay. This isn't this isn't our place. He shall have dominion also from sea to sea <coughs> and from the river unto the ends of the earth. Dominion. What's that? He has all authority. They sh they that dwell in the wilderness shall bow before him and his enemies shall lick the dust. For he shall deliver the needy when he crieth, the poor also, in him that has no helper. <coughs> 
the Lord is going to be very merciful. You're actually better off, like I said, being a Zimbabwe spear chucking bushman than you are to be on YouTube teaching about a God you know not. And that's what that's saying. It's like, man, you're going to see the oddest things when he finally ends this all. You're going to be like, what? How are they getting in? They didn't even, they didn't even ever see a Bible. And that's going to be the people like Tony Baloney that think they know something. That think and they're speaking vain words. And you think I'm not a little bit nervous about teaching the Bible? Don't do you think I'm not just a little bit concerned that I may be putting myself in a bad situation? Very concerned very aware and very diligent to know I'm not doing anything wrong. And he, my Lord, is making sure of that. That's what the prophet gets. He gets to speak. Even though it's Huh. Let me let me go on. He shall redeem their soul from deceit and violence, and precious shall their blood be in his sight. So, what's he saying? Every time you die, every time your blood is spilt and it cries out, and you have to come back here again. The butt man, he conquered death because This, if you know this place, if you know where you're at, if you know where you are at, if you could read the signpost, <coughs> which is this book, tells you where we're at, if you knew where you were at, you would go, this place is walk. It's, it's beyond crazy. Because um, the blood, we have, to, we have to bleed out. We have to die. That's why I don't believe in Harpazo. It's not very Israelite. It's not. I don't understand it. <clears throat> and he shall live, and to him shall be given the gold of Sheba. Prayer also shall be made for him continually, and daily shall he be praised. There shall be a handful of corn in the earth upon the top of the mountains. The fruit thereof shall shake like Lebanon, and they of the city shall flourish like grass of the earth. We have a few things going on here. There shall be a handful of corn. What's that? <clears throat> That's what I'm offering you. I don't want that, J.D. Nijah. I can get a bunch of fruit on the corner over there. <coughs> Street Ministers for Christ is offering me a whole smorgasbord. All I have is some corn, people. The grain, the, the true word. The mana. It's not... <laughs> it's not... Um, high cuisine. Unless you know what you're eating. You would want the corn. That's what he's talking about. <clears throat> the fruit thereof shall shake like Lebanon. That's us. The first fruits. Fucking shaking, stirring this place up. I am a, I'm a fucking pot stirrer, baby. Steer it up. Okay, let me go on. And they of the city shall flourish like glass of the earth, grass of the earth. Um, regeneration, grass flourishing. We're growing. We're sprouting up everywhere. What city? Jerusalem. On um, the everlasting kingdom. His name shall endure forever. His name shall be continued as long as the sun and the men shall be blessed in him. All nations shall call him blessed. What's it say again? The ruler, the king, the righteous king, Solomon, the one that judges, he's going to continue as long as the sun and the moon over and over and over again. Why? Because this is the place of judgment, people. It's pointed once for a man to die and then the judgment. 
do you understand? Holy moly. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who only does wondrous things. And blessed be his glorious name forever. And let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and amen. The prayers of David, the son of Jesse, are ended. <clears throat> so what what is that? What is that psalm? What is that song? What is that? That is the Heavenly Father praying for Jesus to, to get it done perfectly. Jesus is the righteous judge. He's It's going to be perfect. Everyone's going to go exactly where they need to go. Can you read the signpost? Do you know where you're going? Follow the Benjamite. Follow the Benjamite of Judah. We're going to the holy mountain. Zion is calling. The gates are open. Come. <laughs>